from this to this. In just five minutes. In this video, I'll explain how to do a forehand drive step by step and how weight shifting works and why it's more efficient. Key point one stance and the direction of your toes. First, your stance should be about your shoulder width apart or a little bit more. The stance cannot be narrower than that because when your feet are too close to each other, one, the center of your weight will be higher causing your balance to be less stable. Two, you won't be able to move quickly. Three, it'll be more difficult to shift the weight from one foot to the other, which is crucial in transferring energy from the body to the ball. The most efficient power increase in your strokes. When you have a good stance, your toes need to point slightly outward and right to a little bit more than the left. This way, when you turn your upper body to prepare to hit the ball, your knee has a little bit more freedom and your foot will not prevent your body from turning. Key point two, bend your knees and lean forward. Then bend your knees a little bit, keeping the center of your weight even lower for better stability. And lean forward slightly so you feel your weight on your toes. This is not only important for your balance, but it will give your pedal an angle, which helps to drive the ball forward. If your posture is too straight up, there is a higher chance that you will hit the ball out of the table. Key point three, the grip. Now comes the grip. This part of your hand is called web space. And the neutral grip for the shake hand is when the blade is exactly in the middle of this area. If you place your blade more towards the thumb, will give you a comfortable angle for forehand drives and if it's more towards the index finger more comfortable angle for backhand now a lot of players do change grip for forehand and backhand but if you're just starting out it's best to start with a neutral grip so your transition from forehand to backhand will be smooth a different grip for forehand may result in a different contact point making the arm position uncomfortable or swings less efficiently as it has to compensate for the different racket angle. Keep your pedal as if it's an extension of your arm. It should be aligned in a straight line. Key point four, arm. Now drop your entire arm and since we are leaning forward a little bit, your elbows should be slightly in front of your waist. Fix your elbows to your side, then bring your forearms up until they are parallel to the floor. Key point five, rotation and body posture. Then, turn your body 90 degrees to the right to prepare and wait for the ball to come to your side. Think that the ball would be hitting your pedal exactly at this moment. From here, you will swing up and forward to drive the ball, which will create a little bit of topspin on the ball. To summarize and simplify even more, the three most important points to keep in mind for a forehand drive, one, Remember to keep your wrist position, making it nice and straight throughout your forehand drive. Two, start off by turning 90 degrees to the right with your pedal. Three, wait for the ball to hit your pedal, meaning your contact point will be on your side, not in front of you. Then, swing up and forward. Here's a tip to practice alone. If you want to practice by yourself, don't try to stand at the end line of the table where you usually stand to play but come to the side. This is very important because at the end line, you can set up the ball at the good contact point on your side. But if you come to the side of the table, now you can have a nice setup, good contact point to start with by dropping the ball on the table around where your right toe would be and hitting the ball on the right contact point. Simply, Repeat this until you have a good sense of ball placement with your forehand drive. How weight shifting works. I'll explain how to use your entire body to transfer energy to the ball by shifting your weight from right to left as you rotate your body. This is very important because using your body is more efficient, gives your strokes consistency and better control. First, you need to understand the direction of your swing when you do a forehand drive. And it is very simple. 
we swing up and forward to drive the ball creating a little bit of topspin on the ball. Now that we understand how to drive the ball, any motion that you make with your body should help your swing at the contact point. In other words, it should help speed up your swing in the same direction. Here is a very simple way to feel the body weight shift from right to left. Spread your arms like this, then turn 90 degrees to the right and gently push on your left toe so that your left heel is off the ground. This way you will feel your weight on your right foot. From here, rotate back to the front while shifting the weight to the left by pushing on your right toes. Eventually, your weight will be on your left foot and right heel off the floor. Make sure your body is finishing and facing forward, not to the left. Let me show you how this helps your swing. In the same direction as your body, we will place our arm like this so we are in a ready position. Even if I'm not doing anything with my arm, I can see that by shifting my weight and rotating my body, my pedal is moving in the same direction of the ball, which is up and forward. How is this more efficient? While a small rotation of your body can do a full swing, the arm needs to work more to give a full swing. So using your body is more efficient and will have a greater impact than just using your hand. Repeat this a few times, shifting your weight from right to left, then apply this technique to transfer the body energy to the ball to make your shots more efficient and consistent. Let me know if you have any question for forehand drive. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Thanks again for watching this video. Bye-bye.